I'm really mad at Big. He ruined our happy set ending. Mr. Big may have died at the end of the first episode of the Sex and the City revival series, and just like that... And just like that, Big died. But spoiler alert, he's still 1 million percent a part of the current storyline. So this is your official spoiler warning if you haven't watched yet. Following Big's funeral, Carrie says she feels like she's in the home stretch of grief at the will reading. It's been a rough few weeks, but just keep reminding myself that at least we were happy at the end. Never been happier. And just like that, something big happens. Turns out Carrie's late husband left $1 million to his ex-wife, Natasha. Here it is, $1 million. What's all the drama? What's the charity? Natasha? When Michael Patrick King called me, he's like, do you think you want to? I was like, I don't even care what you asked me to do. Yes, I will do it. So yeah, I was thrilled. Of course, fans of Sex and the City will recall that Carrie was partially responsible for the end of Big's marriage to Natasha after she caught the two having an affair in her house. Carrie, I see you. Wait. I knew you were having an affair, but not in my house. At the time, Carrie was cheating too on her then boyfriend, Aiden. I never meant to hurt you. I know. But I did. Flash forward to present day Carrie, who meets with her besties, Miranda, Charlotte, and Stanford, to discuss the new development. Oh, you right? know what? It's not even about the money. It really isn't. I would be just as upset if I if I found out that he left her ten dollars. But just why is she in there at all? And Q Carrie obsessing over getting answers on the status of Big's relationship with Natasha. So what else don't I know? Carrie emails Big's ex, then DMs her on Instagram, only to get blocked. So Carrie shows up unannounced at Natasha's work after seeing her enter the building, only to be told Natasha is away in Rome. I'm really mad at Big. I almost forgot how I used to feel all those years ago, you know, so nervous and insecure and desperate. You know, like what we had wasn't enough. Like, I wasn't enough. And I just hate that after all the good years, this is what I'm left with. He ruined our happy set ending. Carrie later has an awkward run-in with Natasha in a coffee shop bathroom and finally gets some closure. Turns out the exes haven't seen each other since their divorce and Natasha was just as much in the dark as Carrie. Classic John, just always a puzzle, at least with me. You'll never understand why he ever married me when he was always in love with you. When E.T. caught up with Bridget Moynihan, who plays Natasha at the show's premiere, she opened up about joining the revival series and how different it felt all these years later. You know what? The first year I did it, I was like Bambi in the city, fresh off the boat, never done anything before and was, you know, literally thrown into the mix of Sex in the City. So I was nervous, didn't know what I was getting into. Now I know, and I have a few more, you know, years under my belt here, and I was just, I, but I, I, I was on set like a fan, almost like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm back. This is so great, seeing the fashion, seeing the girls together and playing together. It was so much fun. But back to Carrie. We felt excited about the kind of stories that we were interested in telling. We were curious as to, you know, about where they were and who they were and what was their life like and who were they now surrounded by. She decides that the will money was Big's way of apologizing to Natasha for cheating on her and ending their marriage on such terrible terms. And while fans may still be reeling from Big's death. I love that people are upset. It means they care. The show's creator, Michael Patrick King, told E.T. his death was important for the storyline of the new series. I wanted to see if it is better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. But really, 
Also, the thesis of the show has always been the most significant, challenging relationship of all is the one you have with yourself. And if you have that and then somebody else comes along, well, that's fabulous. So this is now the significant, challenging relationship of her life is the Look, one she'll have with herself. 